Okay, Ian Rappaport. Report, Joe Burrow suffered a knee injury in the Super Bowl. That won't require surgery, which just is honestly a good sign for the Bengals. They definitely need to improve their offensive line if they want to get back to the Super Bowl. And honestly, this is a great sign for Joe Burrow as well that he's not injured. It looked like kind of bad when he was on the form of grimacing, but it probably wasn't as bad as it looked. I think it was a sprained MCL or something like that, which he'll probably be back but in time for next season. I got memories. He's got hardware. Larry Fitzgerald is 08 postseason compared to Cooper Cup's 21 postseason, which honestly, I wish that Larry Fitzgerald would win a Super Bowl, but it seemed like it never turned out that way. Hopefully, he could come back to the NFL and maybe go to a team just to win a Super Bowl. I don't really know if he would, though. Comment down below your opinion on this, and where would you rank Larry Fitzgerald as a top wide receiver all time? I think you'd definitely be a top 10 wide receiver all time, maybe even a top 5 wide receiver all time. Donald might need to become the highest paid defensive player in order to play in 2022, which honestly, I think the Rams will probably pay him, and I think he will probably be the highest paid. I think he deserves it as well, a three-time defensive player of the year and a Super Bowl champion. Honestly, one of the best defensive players of all time. He deserves all the money coming to him. Hopefully, the Rams can secure a deal. He might leave the Rams. Who knows what's going to happen, but comment down below your opinion on this. This is the 2022 NFL mock draft. Number one is Aiden and Hutchinson Edge, which I think the best player in this draft is Kayvon Thibodeau. I think he should be number one, but I think Jacksonville is probably set. In most mock drafts, they have him at number one, so that's probably what's going to happen. Number two, Detroit, Kyle Hamilton's safety, which really jumped up after for some reason for the Lions, and this is where Kayvon Thibodeau is supposed to be, but I don't know why they would take a safety. I don't know if that would be the best option for them. Maybe they might want to trade down and get a quarterback. I don't really know, but... I don't really think that's going to be the best option. Number three, Houston Texans, Kayvon Thibodeau, Edge. Which, honestly, with the Houston Texans, I think they need any position, but this is honestly be a good pick for them as well. Number four, Ahmad Gardner, Cornerback, Jets, which, honestly, I think the Jets, in general, need to get an offensive lineman, and I think that's their main concern. Number five, New York Giants, Ekem Ekwanu, Offensive line, New York Giants. I think this would probably be a good pick for them, but... The Jets would probably try to take him before that and not draft Ahmad Gardner. And I think the Giants would probably switch with them. Comment down below your opinion on this and what's your opinion on this mock draft?